What's happening guys, Mike here from Hammer Fitness again, helping you on your weight loss journey get there faster, fitter and better. Now, I've got a secret to tell you. All right, so as humans, we're habitual creatures. All right, so I've got a way to break down habits and for you to master your habits and for them not to master you. Coming up. Okay, so habits. Habits are pretty much the way we get along in every single day. Whether you realize it or not, you've created a habit, uh, whether it's subconsciously or mindfully, um, your whole day is made up of routines and habits. Uh, so you might be thinking, oh, no, no, there's not just a few habits, I think, like maybe smoking or drinking or eating bad food. Well, you'd be surprised. From the exact way you get out of bed, to the way you put on your shoes, to the way you open a door. Now, take notice of those small, tiny little things. All of them, your brain is actually flipped into a routine, into a habit, to a pattern. So what we're actually doing there, or what the brain's doing there, is it's pretty much creating the most efficient way to think. So you don't have to think about absolutely everything. Now, if you think about a baby when it first comes out, uh, obviously they don't know what the hell's going on because they haven't developed their mind properly but as they get older you'll start to see them pick up some traits whether it be from uh, consciously viewing other people doing things so they'll mimic um, and then even developing habits themselves because it's a, it's a routine that they've put themselves in or someone else has put themselves in um, for whatever reason. Now. To understand habits and routines, we actually have to break it down, all right? So it's easy enough, let's say uh, you're a smoker and you wanna quit smoking because you know smoking's a bad habit. Uh, like I said, habits come in so many different forms and variations, it's not funny. But let's just take the bad habit, for example, of smoking. Uh, I always use this example, but it's a good one. A lot of people smoke and a lot of people wanna give up, so why not? But <clears throat> you wanna break it down into the three sections uh, that it is compiled of to really understand and to be able to master not only smoking, but every habit. All right, so habits or routines, they're breaking down into three things. So one, you've got your cue, all right? So it's that reason, it's that, uh, it's that feeling of urgency or that feel that you need to do it. All right, so it's the cue, the, the step forward to getting it done or doing it for whatever reason, whether it be, let's say, smoking, it's anxiety or you've had a stressful day or some people just have a drink and then they feel like a smoke, all right? So that's your cue. All right, then the routine. Routine is the smoke. You actually have a dart wherever it may be, time, location, uh, doesn't matter. That's the routine uh, or the habit in process. Now you've got the reward, all right? So that's uh, the part number three. That's the reason or the, the reiterating reason why you've decided to go along and do that routine to eventually uh, get that reward. So by understanding these three steps, you can break them down individually to control the habit and either make a new one or flip it to a different habit. Now this is one of the strongest uh, ways to pretty much take control of a habit. Taking a habit as a routine in itself, it's pretty much already a structure in the brain. All right, so you can ultimately change one habit into another one a lot faster than you can remove it altogether. All right, just think of it as like a pattern in your brain. Now, you can keep the pattern, just fill something else in into that pattern. All right, so kind of like a makeshift, uh, and then hopefully that'll pretty much continue on. So let's take that smoking, for example. Uh, as soon as you feel that anxious or desired feel to have a cigarette or you have that meal, that's the cue. Right? You want to break that down. Sometimes you can even write it down. This is a great way to do it. So time, location, reason, uh, write down the way you're feeling. All right? So this, this way, every time you get that cue and you've got a bunch of, let's say, notes and you might even start to develop a pattern on paper. So you'll realize that you have it either at that time, that time, that time, or it's when you're feeling like X, X, X. All right, so if it's for some reason your anxiety, well, maybe you need to switch your routine or habit into something that's gonna control that cue or anxiety. Right, I really hope that makes sense. All right, so for the, the smoking example, if you have a meal or something and instantly you feel like you need to go have that cigarette for whatever reason. Instead, quickly try to flip it to something else. Have something else instead. 
probably another bad habit, but go on your phone, do something productive, uh, go for a walk, drink a glass of water, have something else to eat. Uh, if you're on a diet, maybe don't. Uh, if you can afford it in your calories and go for it. But you're trying to really make that, make that switch. All right? So every time that you allow that routine to take place to get that reward, it's just gonna reiterate in your head that as soon as that cue gets signaled, boom, smoke. Cue, smoke, cue, smoke. That's all that's gonna happen. All right, if you don't break it, all right, uh, by figuring out the cues, all right, some, some people don't even know why they smoke. All right, so that's why you need to break it down into the three uh, aspects. And I know I've just been speaking about smoking, but it applies for almost any principle, and I hope you can really understand this and apply it. Um, also, the big benefit of obviously is smoking is, I know people get the nicotine, uh, their anxiety levels go down, or maybe it just feels good, maybe you feel cool. Um, and that's that reward, all right? So you wanna also replace the reward. The three steps are crucial. The cue, the routine, all right? So find the cue, switch the routine, but still you want that reward, all right? So let's say if it's anxiety, maybe you can even meditate. Meditate is the routine, and the reward is that relaxed feel. Uh, if you wanna feel cool, do something else dress cooler i don't know go give someone a handshake give them a compliment uh do something that's going to make you feel good switch that routine around um maybe even have like a favorite drink that's not going to uh, hinder your health uh, or your cut if you're on a weight loss journey um but yeah three ways all right so those three steps you want to break that down into three steps discover why you're doing what you're doing all right either switch it remove it find another reward or cut it out altogether all right, so it's been said that habits usually take about 21 days, all right, just on average. It right, could, could take less, could take more, and it's going to come down to your willpower as well. All right? At the start, it is hard. Trust me, uh, I'm pretty much the master of creating bad habits. Uh, if you don't know me from previous videos, I've got severe uh, OCD, and it's almost like inevitable for me to almost create these bad habits, thoughts and patterns in my brain. So that's, that's pretty much why I'm so intrigued into the mind, how it works. Um, and I'll be giving you heaps more tips uh, along uh, psychology and the mindset, uh, which I love to study anyway, which is good. And I hope to actually help everyone out there. And if anyone's got OCD, hit me up on Facebook. I'll give you as many tips as I can. Um, that's pretty much helped me along my journey as well. Uh, so I really hope that helps guys any questions at all please feel free to hit me up and make sure to fo uh, follow us on Facebook or uh, YouTube getting updated every week to help you on your weight loss journey getting there fitter faster and better all right I'll see you guys in the next video hope you liked the video guys jump across to our YouTube channel and give that a subscribe to keep up to date on our weekly motivation and tips to help you on your weight loss journey also take a look at the videos down below for some humor some laughs and some free workouts and more motivation all right I'll see you guys in the next video